Hey, welcome back to Sober Now. I'm Jim LaPierre. Today I want to talk about awkwardness because healing is awkward and growth is awkward. When I'm talking with folks who are feeling anxious, uh, maybe moving out of their comfort zones for the first time in a long time, it's very normal for us to be self-conscious. It's very normal for us to kind of predict how weird and awkward we're going to be in social interactions. And I encourage people to embrace that. I think so much of the pressure that we put on ourselves to look like we have it together or to keep our composure is incredibly self-limiting and is actually a really a big barrier to treatment. One of the things that I think we most often lose sight of is that the folks that we could potentially be reaching out to understand a lot about where we're at and about how we feel. Uh, it's darkly amusing to me when people are afraid to be seen in my waiting room. I'll ask them to think about, you know, why is everybody else in my waiting room? Uh, when folks are afraid to go into a 12-step meeting for the first time, uh, what will people think of them? What, uh, what would their judgment be? And I'll, I'll ask them to consider, why are those folks in that meeting? I think we make this comparison between our insides and everybody else's outsides and we decide that everybody else has it together and that we are probably the only one that's a complete mess and everybody else is doing just fine. Uh, and that's amusing to me because I'm on the outside looking in. It's amusing to me because I've done a lot of work on myself and I sat in those waiting rooms and I've attended those meetings and it did me a world of good. So. The advice that I have for folks is you have to embrace it. You have to allow yourself to do that thing that's uncomfortable, that thing that's awkward. And for all of your concern about what people might think of you, there's an expression that old timers in AA use that I always appreciated. You know what people think about you? They don't. They're probably thinking about their own problems or their own needs or what's going on in their lives. And if we see you act a little bit weird in the context of group therapy or a 12-step meeting, we're just going to understand that that's where you're at, you're struggling, we'll be patient with you, we'll be kind, and that might be surprising to you, but we know what it's like to be where you're at now. And so being patient with someone is simply an expression of kindness, acceptance, and even love. Being hopelessly self-critical being hard on ourselves, putting pressure on ourselves to pretend that we have it all together when the truth is we're falling apart. It's just not manageable. It's not sustainable. And it's one of the most common ways in which we get in our own way. So I say to folks, sooner or later, you're going to get desperate. Sooner or later, it's going to hurt too much. And another recovery expression that I love, the fear of change gets outweighed by the fear of staying the same. So sooner or later, we're going to push ourselves to do that thing that's uncomfortable. And if we know that, then why wait? Let's just jump in. Let's just blurt it out. Let's just, whatever it is that you need, let's put it out on the table. And I will often ask folks, what do you have to lose by doing that? And meaningfully consider what do you have to gain? I hate it when we miss connections. So quite often my higher power is putting people in my path that I'm meant to connect with. And if I'm self-conscious, if I'm down on myself, then I'm going to miss a lot of opportunities for connection and spiritual growth. It's amazing to me the people that my higher power puts in my path. And it's often awkward. I've actually said to people over the years, you know, I just have a strong sense that I'm supposed to know you. And that conversation is always weird in the first minute or two. But quite often it leads to some pretty incredible long-term friendships it leads to a lot of healing. It leads to connecting with other people as well. And I've just experienced so much benefit from it that I don't shy away from awkwardness at all. I think it's actually one of the keys to recovery and spiritual growth. My friends in NA say the only thing you have to do is get comfortable with being uncomfortable and your growth and healing are going to take off. I'm grateful for the situations, the possibilities, and the people that my higher power puts in my path, and I want to make sure I don't miss out on any of them. I'm a, I'm a bit of a hedonist. I want to get all of those connections. So if I can get out of my own way, I can remind myself that other people are struggling too, that they're not going to judge me the way that I judge me, and I can be open to the idea that people like me, accept me just the way that I am, and that 
all by itself creates a lot of opportunities. So I hope that you'll venture out of your comfort zone. I hope you'll take increasingly good care of yourself and allow yourself to receive. Recovery is always hard, whether it's from trauma, substance use disorder, mental health, self-harm, all of the things that people like me do to ourselves. But the world's kind of a giant dumpster fire right now, and so it's more important than ever that we're getting out of our own way to make new friendships and develop meaningful supports. Please do that. Not only do you deserve that, I, I want to remind you that it helps me to help you, and that's true of the very best groups and organizations and people worth knowing. So please, if you would, put a quick like on this video and check out uh, Sober Now's YouTube channel. Sober Now is all you have to enter in, it'll come right up. And if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get an update from us about maybe twice a week. The first one will be for video vlogs that we're putting up and the second one will be a notification uh, I go live every Thursday at noontime for a live Facebook talk and would encourage you not only to join us, but uh, message me, email me, let me know what questions you have, what topics you'd like to see covered. Jim at SoberNow.com. I would love to connect with you. And if you're awkward, so much the better. Have a great day.